Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another mailbag for you. Today's broadcast made possible in part by icstation.com and saintsmart.com. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. Today I have a long-awaited mailbag. Sorry I've been away so long, guys, but uh, it's summertime and things are just piling up around the shop here. So I uh, figured today let's get through some of this heap of mailbag items. And without, uh, without delay, let's go ahead and get started. First one I've got today... I got some cables sent some male to female for doing breadboarding on some of the Arduino projects. Uh, I was a little shy on these. You can pick these up off of eBay. If you haven't seen my video, check out my channel on how to buy stuff cheap on eBay. That's where this heap mainly came from. These will go really good in some of the new projects. Next I have a package from IC Station. These were so nicely donated for review on the channel. I'm pretty excited about these. Check this out guys. This is a 40 amp solid state relay module. Really excited about this. Uh, Arduino is quite capable of activating it. I, uh, I'm really kind of looking forward to giving this a go. Uh, up to 40 amp output, 24 to 380 volt D, uh, AC. So should do pretty much most things we're ever going to need on this channel. Uh, we'll give it a go. In this package, which I haven't opened yet. Stuck pretty well. Ah, perfect. We have the IC Station Unique uh, Arduino Mega. Uh, this should be... I have a, a project in mind for this. Pretty excited about this. The, uh, they have it labeled as a 2560 standard numbering, so uh, pretty easy to figure out. Uh, I don't think there's anything that deviates from a standard Arduino Mega, so uh, we'll see this in an upcoming project. Next package on the list. This is from SaneSmart.com. Uh, I am really excited about this. I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these for a long time, guys. PC Duino. So, as you've seen in previous videos, I do have the Raspberry Pi. I have not made good use of it, out of it at all. I think this is going to be far better suited for my projects and my uh, my use. Uh, I won't go through all the specs of a PC Duino. You guys can check it out. But this is basically a really, really powerful board. This is the... Uh, uh, I think it's the third iteration. Uh, I don't think it's labeled on it. So I don't, I can't rattle off the specs just off the top of my head, but, uh, check them out guys. Really powerful board. Pretty excited about this. Can't wait to get this going in an upcoming review video. Uh, same with the, uh, IC station parts. You will see these in standalone videos coming up. I did commit to these as a, as a standalone video. So, uh, we'll see what they do. Uh, you're going to see this come live, uh, as I try it. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to plug it in. I'm going to do it all live, so we'll see how difficult it is, how easy it is. Next package, we have... Oh, this one's a little exciting. Let's see if I can get this out of here. This is kind of neat, guys. I hadn't, I hadn't really intended on getting this until I saw one on eBay. This is a standalone voice recognition module. This does not require an operating system. Also comes with a nice little handy FTDI programmer. Can't go wrong with getting that. But uh, this is the board, and it's a standalone voice recognition module with microphone that interfaces very well to the Arduino. Uh, performance? Well, we're going to find out. But uh, having an Arduino being able to uh, to recognize my voice, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, my plan was to use this in uh, the home automation projects coming up, but we'll see how that goes. Also got a stick-on fisheye lens. This is marketed for cell phones. 
It's kind of like a gooey stick connector for a fisheye. I'm going to use this on the Hubson uh, quadcopter to increase the field of view for the first person view. So we'll give it a try. Next, this one's a little heavier. Ah, yeah. These, uh, nothing to do with microcontroller projects, just possibly good fun. These are, I think they're five milliwatt lasers. Uh, three of them for, I think, five bucks. Uh, I don't know whether you'll see the intensity of this on, on the camera, but these things are crazy powerful. Uh, I do have one project in mind for this, oddly enough, that might interface to the microcontrollers. Uh, depends on how it works out, but uh, hey, we'll give it a try. Next box, Let's see what we get. This is an H bridge. So you may have saw me post uh, a picture of a controller I did recently. I, I didn't make a video on it yet because uh, I'm kind of keeping it a little under wraps. I needed a powerful H-bridge to control a Peltier junction and uh, I picked one up cheap from eBay. I uh, forget the amperage on this thing. It's You can tell by the heat sink on it. It's pretty high amperage. This thing's heavy, heavy duty. So we'll try that out. Let's see what we get here. We have soil moisture sensors. Uh, I only needed two, but uh, it was cheaper to buy them than the pack of five. Well, it wasn't cheaper, but it was a heck of a deal to get a package of five. These are a standalone moisture sensor that can do uh, variable output as well as just a, an on-off output, depending on where you set the setting on the, I think it's just a little potentiometer on board. We'll give those a try in an upcoming video. Uh, I've seen lots of videos on YouTube on these, but uh, not really a, a full function test. So, hey, we'll give it a try. This package, we got ourselves. What did we get? It's heavy. Temperature sensors. So these use the one wire protocol, if I remember right. Uh, completely waterproof. Um, Obviously, uh, on this channel, they were very price reasonable when I got them. I can't quote the price off the top of my head, but they were pretty dirt cheap. And uh, we're going to use those in a couple extra, a couple upcoming projects. This one, this one I'm excited about because I haven't seen many reviews on YouTube. And I'm kind of looking forward to doing one for you guys. This is a peristaltic pump. Uh, you can use this for a dosing pump for an aquarium or lab use. These things used to be ridiculous expensive, guys. Obscene amount of money for a dosing, for a peristaltic pump. Uh, basically, you know exactly what you're going to get out of it. We can PWM the DC motor and uh, we can get it to exact milliliters out, depending on what we want or whatever unit of measure you like and uh, right down to extreme precision. Uh, pretty common in lab use, but uh, now they're making it to, into our hobby world. So pretty excited about that. These, I think, I might have shown on one of my live broadcasts. These I'm really excited about too, guys. These are the NRF 2.4 gigahertz wireless modules. These are gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, these will allow us to link the Arduinos together in a mesh network or just a standalone one-to-one um, -one communication, but I do plan on doing a mesh network at some point. And uh, these things are just over a buck a piece, guys, so how far wrong can you go? The range on these, there were some, some pretty good videos out there doing some range tests and stuff, and the results have been really good, so we'll give it a try in my house and see how it works. Next, another box. These are all the same. These are passive infrared sensors, guys. Uh, for my plan was to do a bit of a home automation project and uh, possibly we'll use these as part of the security aspect. Uh, I can't remember the price on these, but you can see I got a whole whack of them because it was uh, they were very, very reasonable. Uh, I only need a few, a handful, to cover my whole house if I decided to do a security system. So uh, we'll give these a try too. Uh, I couldn't believe the price on them. They're, I can't believe they make them for these prices, guys. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. One last box. This one is pretty straightforward. 
This one actually came from Amazon because I, I needed it in a rush. I, I need to prototype something tonight. I needed a heavy duty standalone 12 volt power supply. Uh, this is an 8 amp power supply and uh, I don't really need to proto it because I do have the, the bench mount but I need it to test the form factor of fitting this all in the case that I want to use. So uh, just a standard uh, laptop style, 12 volt power supply. The price wasn't that good on that, so uh, definitely could have done a little better, but when you need it, you need it. Guys, if you haven't seen this before, this is my Arduino kit. Uh, this is where I store all my Arduino goodies. This is full. So what I ended up having to do just because I was waiting to do this mailbag, I knew I was going to need another one of these. So this is going to be phase two of my Arduino collection. I've outgrown the initial box. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, I'll post a link at the end. You can see the majority of what's in there. The video is getting a little dated now. Uh, there's plenty of goodies in there, but you'll see them all in my other uh, videos on the channel if you haven't. But uh, yeah, time to... I'm going to put all these new parts in here and lay this out, depending on, uh, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I usually have inputs, outputs, boards themselves, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we'll see how I lay that out, and maybe I'll do a, a future video on the contents of all these, guys. Guys, that's the end of it for today. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Thank you for joining me today. If you wouldn't mind, please consider hitting a thumbs up or a share on this video. It really helps. Thanks for joining.